So last time I showed you how to use voice meter to combine eight different channels or four pairs. So a mic, the system, your music and your communication app into one eight channel using this composite. That's good if you just want to use the eight channels as stereo pairs and you can mix them afterwards and then you can bring them back in some other way. It also gives you the option of bringing it back in and using it in a door. However, if you don't need to use a door, you could actually use the door to do the same thing. Now, what would the advantage of that be? Well, here we're taking the, we're taking the signal as they come in and it goes straight out through the eight channels using this up here, which I showed in the last video, you assign four pairs of channels. So if we just wanted to take our, if we just want to take this, take the signals as they were and send them straight out to use them as they are, or to mix them and then bring them back in just as they are, that's fine. But what if we want to do some processing on them first? So once they're mixed, you can't really process them in, in OBS. You, I mean, you can, but you, you will have one signal which rather than, rather than your four separate signals. So one of the options is to send them out to a mixer. That's got the various filters on whatever else you want to do. You know, your, your EQ, you can do that and you can do that on the actual thing. Pre-mix, you mix them, they come back in done. That's fine. However, there's another way. And I'm going to show you that today we what we will be doing is using our door in this case, studio one, mix our eight channels in after we've put process on each one of them. First off, we'll stick this back in normal mode. So right now it's just got whatever's getting sent to it, which is currently just this microphone, which is what you can see moving around there. Right. So. We can go into studio. It doesn't have to be studio one. You can use whatever you can use audition. You can use Ableton, you know, whatever, as long as it supports as you, you can use it. Studio one prime, you can get for free. You can try it out. And if you like it, you can upgrade to artist. Or if you've got some personas kit, you usually get artists with it. So we want to connect, we need to connect voice meter. Over here. So this is currently configured for using my audio interface. We don't want that. Not for this, this occasion. So we want the voice meter potato insert. So we'll click OK. Now we want to go a new song. You just use an empty song. That's fine. Uh, we're going to bring up our mixer and we're going to configure the IO. I right, don't want any of this. Uh, I just wanted to add one mono. And three stereo here. The first one is for my microphone. So in voice meter, that's here. Don't need to damn mix it to mono. So we can just go, we can leave that in mono as it comes in just on channel three and not on channel four. And just getting ahead. They're the first five pairs, which we'll see in a second. And then these are eight channels each. So that's six, one to eight, that's seven, one to eight, and that's eight, one to eight. And we'll see what that means here. So the mic is on the second pair, but it's only on the left. So it's two left. That's my microphone. But there's nothing else on these first five pairs. We've now want six left and right. And we want seven left and right and eight left and right. We don't care about the other six channels in those pairs. So I'm just going to just to rename those in line with the, with what's in voice meter. So that was the system. That one's discord, you know, it could be Skype. It doesn't matter. And that is music. Okay. So let's just apply that one. There we are. That's, that's those. You see the, the mic's immediately coming through. Now, output wise, the main, we can pretty much ignore the main, but cause you can't delete it. 
Uh, I'm just going to delete these and add four more stereos. In this case, I'm going to put the last one as the mic, and there is a reason why I've done that. It's not particularly important, but if for how you set it up, it's just it's unique to my system. So I've got channel seven and eight connected to my audio interface. So when we show you this works later, it's it's important that the mic is the one that's 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 being sent. Uh, but really, it doesn't it doesn't really matter as long as you've got all of your eight outputs. So what we want to do is, and it doesn't matter now whether you choose six, seven, or eight. Probably should have said this earlier, but Studio One is treating this like it's an external piece of hardware. What it does is it takes the signal that's come out here, it sends it off to, to Studio One. We can do whatever we want to do with it, send it back in, and it and it carries on as before. Most or, on an audio interface, or at least on my audio interface, if you send it. It comes in from one of the inputs and goes out to the outputs. In the case of voice meter, it goes out from an input and then comes back in to the input as well. So you can still run all this stuff after it's come back. You, however, can cross them. It could come back into a different one to what it went out of. And that is the key of what we're doing here. So I took a pair out of here, a pair out of there and a pair out of there and a mono out of there but i want them all to come back in to just one of these and we will use the system so there's six six one two is there six left and right then then the other the next pairs along right so the mic is in seven and eight basically it's the bottom pair of RCA outputs on my ASUS sonar. So we want to apply that. Don't click the QMix. The QMix is a just pain in the ass. Don't, don't worry about that for what we're doing here. Okay, we can show our inputs and show our outputs. So there, there they are. There, there they are. Right. Now, this bit will depend on which version you've got and which... In most cases, you're going to need to... If you've got an older version of Studio One, Studio One Four. I'm not sure about whether the basic version of Studio, of Studio One, like the Prime version, comes with these auxiliary channels. If you've got them, you want to use them. If you haven't, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. You can just create ordinary tracks. So auxiliaries, we want four. So coming in, comes into the mic. That's the the mic. The system. Discord and the music. Now to go out, remember I did these slightly different, so the mic's going out of the, the final pair. System, Discord, and music. Now, importantly, this mic is a mono input, but it's turned it into a stereo. Because remember, I and the inputs, it was mono, in the outputs, it was stereo. So this just creates a set of outputs I want to work with in Studio One. And that's a set of inputs I want to work with in Studio One. Then once you've done that, you come out here and then you tie them together. And I can I've crisscrossed them. That that was on that was six left and right. That was seven left and right, and that was eight left and right. But they've all gone on six. They've all gone back on six, just on the eight different channels instead of the instead of all the different ones. So I've not sent them back to where they came in. Okay, basically that's the setup of Studio One done. And now we're going to send it back. But the whole reason for doing it in Studio One at all was so we could um, do some processing. So what am I, what am I going to do? Let's add. Let's add RTX voice. So this is just should clean up my voice a bit. He says he hopes it works. If you don't have the most up-to-date driver for your graphics card, it doesn't, doesn't work, or at least I had to upgrade mine to make it work. So I'm hoping that actually works. I'm hoping you can hear me sounding a little better. 
Um, if I just click my mouse, yeah, it does appear. It does appear to be working. So anyway, um, I'm going to I'm going to turn it back off. But you know, you could put your gate on there. You could put your expander on there, and your compressor, and you can do all that. You might want to, you know, mess around with the EQ on it. You know, there are various things that you can do in here. All of that stuff, once it's done, goes back over to, goes back over. However, it's not actually being sent as of yet because this signal here is coming from this, the, the audio that's coming into this now. You see it's moving there and it's moving there. And whatever I do in here isn't, isn't going to make a difference to that. See, I just, I've just reduced that volume to zero and it hasn't done anything. Let's just move it back up to, to where it was. However, if I will let number six go over now, when I press mute, it disappears. See, it's not there now. So I um, unmute it and it's back now the microphone that's on the left there and that's coming back in over here on fourth pair so like the seventh and eighth channels so there we go so the mic you can see the mic's now moving there now this is the little bit that's a little this is a bit more a bit more confusing now because we want the signal from seven eight l and r we want to go out here this sort of top splodge of that and then come back in over here so we need to do seven left and right and we need to do these two and we also need these two and these two you might have to watch a bit of this again to sort of get your head around this so i'll just quickly go over that again the mic comes in in here goes out and it goes th across here and then that comes back in in this lane if you imagine if you imagine that they're in they're like different lanes it left on that lane and came back in this lane so it doesn't even matter that that's muted see because it's gone and it's come back in it's there so you've got what we've got a, a track that's playing through there we haven't got anything playing through these but they would they that would work and now we're done this then sends it out this then sends it out to the, the eight channel output on the sound card. And then you can do whatever you want. You can then send that to a mixer or you can send it to an audio interface. I'm going to bring up my audio interface, which is actually where it's going. So as you can see, it's seven and eight, which is the microphone, which is why I'm talking. You can see it moving. And then if I want, I can mix it in here. Um, I could then send it to the one of the outputs and I could then route a cable from that output back into the computer to for obs to pick up if that's what i wanted to do the main sort of drawback of this is if once you've got it in here you can't then get it back into studio one because you're already using studio one for something i don't know whether you can use more than one version of studio one at the same time you can probably use a different door i don't think it, there would be any problems with using more than one door because studio one is connected to voice meter via Azure. It's not, it's not touching my actual audio interface. So if you had a different door collecting signals from there, that would be fine. And in fact, OBS could connect, could, can collect them directly from the door. Uh, and in fact, if I bring OBS up, let's just hide the preview because otherwise it causes that weird infinity thing. Uh, and if I add seven and eight back in, there it is. So seven and eight is, is showing me talking. Okay. So that's the other way of doing it. Advantage, all the processing is done before it gets out. There is a third way. Potentially this, this would be to use it's like I was saying about using two doors, but I'll cover that in the next, in the next one.